Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. So guys, Touch Notes is available for Android and iOS. In today's video, I am going to talk about top 15 tips and tricks for using Touch Notes to boost your productivity. So guys, let's start. The first tip is about inserting an image directly from your internet browser. So I use this edge panel, I take it out and then I open the internet browser in the split screen mode. So here I search uh, some images of heart on Google. Okay. So for example, I like this image, I make it big. Now I want to insert this image into my notes. What I will do is I will just select the smart select option. I just select this image like this. Okay. So you can see over here and now I can simply drag and drop in my touch notes. So I just drag it like this. You can see and now I can easily insert into my notes. Okay. So you can see this is how it looks like. You can change it. You can edit. You can rotate it. Okay, guys, you can also insert any type of text from any website or from any document, for example, like a PDF file. So I will open a PDF file. I will just take out this edge panel. Okay, and then I open this PDF file and I want to drag some text. Okay, so let's say I want to drag this uh, text and I want to put it over here. So again, I will use the smart select. Okay, I just select this option and I just select this text from this PDF file. Okay. So you can see the text has been selected. Now I can easily drag and drop it into my touch notes. Okay. So let's say I want to drag it. I just press and hold it with my S pen and then I can simply drag and drop into my touch notes. Okay. So you can see my uh, text is over here. Okay. So now I can easily edit it. If I want to change its position, I can also do it. The next tip is about inserting an image uh, by using your camera and taking a picture of any type of document. So I will close this and now how you can uh, insert image from the camera or from the system. So you just select this settings icon over here. Okay. And then you will see this option over here. It says insert image okay so just select it so here it gives you two options the first one is system picker and the second one is camera so you can turn on the camera and take the picture and insert it in, into your notes the other option is system picker so for example I select this system picker I just select this uh, note okay and then I use the select button and then I press this ok key okay and now it will insert it in your notes and you can see over here and now if you want you can also rotate it for example I want to rotate it to this position I will reduce its size okay so like this you can see I reduce its size and I will put it over here uh, the next step is about the page templates so guys there are a lot of page templates option okay so I will go here into the settings okay so here if you see there is an option of style okay so I just select it once you select it, you can see there are different paper styles available. Okay. So you can see over here, the one with the square. Okay. So you can see now it is changed at the background. If I want the lines. Okay. So now here lines. Okay. These are the dots. So you can see dots over here and this is a plain paper. You can also change the color. So there are different colors options. So you can see I can easily change the background color if you want to make it black blue whatever color you want they are all colors available over here so you can see you can also adjust the line spacing okay so for example you can see there is a adjust line spacing option so if i increase it you will see the line space will also get increased at the background so this is the maximum okay if i reduce it like this so you can see there is a less gap and you can also adjust line alpha okay so you can see uh, I put it over here like this. Okay. So there will be more visibility in the lines. Once you finish with your work, you can select the apply all pages option. Okay. And then press okay. So it will adjust it into all pages in your notes. The next important thing that I'm going to talk about is the shape tool. So guys, if I select the shape tool over here, so you can see if I double select it, it gives you different kind of shapes. For example, I select this shape. Okay. And now I want to draw it with my S pen. 
so you can see this is how it looks like okay and then if you want to select it there is a selection tool so i want to select this shape okay so now here you can see you can color you can fill okay there are other options available so for example i select this fill option so you can select any color to fill it for example i want to select this color so now it is filled like this okay if i select the color option okay and uh, then i want to select this color you can see the lines are changing its color okay so for example i want to make it blue okay so i can adjust it like this uh, there is one more thing i want to add here you can also use your s pen to draw any kind of shape so for example if i select this gel pen tool okay and if i double select it it gives me an option of auto recognition so basically this will help you to create different kind of shapes with your s pen so i select this auto recognition and now i want to draw any kind of shape okay so for example i want to draw a circle i just draw it like this and it will make it neat for me okay so for example i want to draw this kind of uh, square so i can draw it okay uh, let's say i want to draw a kind of a star so let's say if it will make it okay so you can see it will also working with this option as well the next step is related to recording your lecture and take your notes at same time so guys you can record your lecture so you select this settings icon okay and then you see this option of add audio so just select it and here you see it is giving you the option to start the recording so i just select this start and then it will start recording and in the meantime you can can make your notes okay related to your lecture okay so at the background it start recording you can see it is now recording if you want to stop it just select this stop button so i just select it so it is now saved automatically and now you can play it as well okay so for example i play it and then it will start recording and in the meantime you can make your notes okay okay so guys this is how you can also insert your recording into your notes the next tip is about pdf annotation so guys you can annotate your pdf as well in touch notes so what i will do i will go back to my main touch notes screen so all notes okay over here and he here you can see this plus icon okay just select it and once you select it here it is giving you the option of import pdf so i will import pdf i just select it and here you can select your pdf file so i will go into my files go to documents and here for example i select this pdf file okay and i press done so now it will add it into my notes and here you can see it is showing me it has 320 pages i can scroll down to the next page so you can see these are all the pages now let's say i want to edit this pdf file okay so i will go down okay let's say i want to edit this page so here i have all the tools available so the first tool is the pen tool so here you can write uh, in your pdf file okay if you want to use your pen you can write it so you can see you can write in your pdf next tool is the highlighter tool so you can also use the highlighter tool in your pdf to annotate your pdf like this uh, then you can also use the shape tool okay so for example i select the shape tool and i want to draw any kind of shape okay so for example i want to draw this uh, like this box okay so i just select it and i can put it like this so you can create any shape over here if you want to use the eraser you can also use the eraser so you can see this is how you can use the eraser tool as well uh, you can also add the text so the text tool is also available so for example if i want to add some text over here so you can see here you can write okay you can add your text and we also have the uh, text tools also for example if you want to use the bold option the italic the underline okay the size uh, okay so you can see you can increase the size 
okay you can decrease the size and once you finish your work you can press the done so you can also use the text tool in your pdf file as we also have the selection tool so if you select the selection tool from here and you want to select this part of the text okay so you can select it you can move it anywhere okay and if you want to reduce its size you can also do it okay so there are a lot of things you can do with the selection tool as well so once you finish with your annotation okay or once you finish with your note taking you can also export your work okay so here you have these settings option just select it and you see this export option so it gives you the export as image option so you can export as image or you can export as PDF or you can do the note sharing or you can do the normal sharing or you can use this email option so you can directly email your work. The next tip that I am going to talk about is the categorization. So guys you can categorize your notes into folders and subfolders so for example i select the all notes option so here in this part you can see i divide it into this fall and summer folder and then i can divide it into subfolder according to my subject so here are my different subjects okay so inside those subjects you can add your notes so this is really really useful if you want to categorize your notes according to your subjects according to your semester so you can add as many folders as you want to create a folder you select this plus icon over here and then you see this option of create new folder so just select it and here you can give it any name for example i want to give it a name of science okay okay so you can see and then i press ok so here you can see the folder is now created i open this folder and inside this folder i can create another folder okay so I will create a subfolder so I give it a name of uh, science 1 okay so here you can see science 1 and then I press ok and inside this folder I can create my note I use this plus icon again and here you can select new infinite note or new A4 note so for example I select this new A4 note I can give it any name okay so I will give it a name of first and I press ok so note is here now I can start taking my notes ok so you can see over here so this is how you can do the categorization you can also merge pdf into your notes okay so here you see this uh, icon okay the settings icon so here you see the tools okay so you have this option of merge pdf over here see this merge pdf you just select it once you select it you can select the pdf that you want to merge for example i select this option i go over here I select this PDF okay let's say this PDF I want to merge and then I press then and here you can see uh, it is asking me to insert specific page or you want it to insert all of this PDF so for this time I just want to insert some pages for example I want to insert these pages okay and then I press this merge to node 3 so I just press it and it is asking front behind or back so I select front and then I press ok so you can see now it is merged into my notes ok so you can see and then here is my notes ok so you can change its position as well next tip is about backup or sync option so guys you can backup your notes so you see this menu over here just select it and then here you see this option of cloud sync so just select it and here it is giving you different options you can do your backup into huawei drive uh, dropbox power folder and then web dub so you can use different option for backup the next tip is about cropping of any image so guys you can easily crop any image just use this selection tool okay and then you can uh, crop any image for example I want to crop this image I just select it and here it is showing you the edit option so I just select this edit and here you can easily crop it so you can see I can easily crop okay so for example I want to crop it like this okay until here so I want only this part okay and then I press this check icon so I just select it so here you can see the image is now cropped okay next tip is about page sorter option so you see there is an icon over here with the page and an eye on it so just select it so here it will open the page sorter 
okay on this side and here you can see all your pages you can easily move to any page in your notes if you want to add the page you can also add the page okay so you see there are three dots over here just select it and once you select it you see this option of add page okay so you just select it so one more page is now added guys you can also edit name you can create link you can copy page you can also paste page so there are a lot of options available over here if you want to access other notes you can directly access it there is a tab option available this tab tool so just select it and here it is showing you the other notes okay so you can see you can directly go to the other notes directly from here uh, basically these all other tabs these all other notes that you recently open so it is showing you over here if you want to remove them you can select this option of close other tabs so it will close all the tabs if you want to remove them uh, by selection for example I just want to remove this tab I can just select this uh, cut icon I just select it and it will remove so guys this is for today's video please like my video and please subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much